school buses by installing the filter. Um, there's also on the information sheet a link to our supplemental environmental project policy, and I believe that that website also refers to some other helpful guidance documents. Um, generally, when um, since we're, we're usually in settlement negotiations when we're talking about steps with the company, um, ultimately the the defendant proposes the step, so. Um, we can't dictate that a particular set be performed or um, or anything like that. And in fact, a company is not required to perform a set. Um, we are here because we want to hear your ideas and we would like to discuss them at a future time with the company. But I just want to make it clear that ultimately um, any set proposal will come from the company. Um, as far as um, the amount of money available for a set, um, that's um, part of our settlement discussions, and we can't really talk about that here. However, um, in other settlements, SEPs have been around the six-figure range, and for purposes of this meeting, we just want to hear your ideas and what good projects you have, and we prefer just to focus on the components of your project and not so much about the costs. Um, and with that, I think I will pass it to our DOG. Hi, I'm Catherine Ava and I'm with USDOJ. Um, thanks for coming today. We appreciate um, your participation. Um, as um, Lisa and um, Katie noted, we're in the midst of confidential settlement discussions with Severs Dahl. Um, and while we won't be able to discuss the ongoing negotiations today, I can tell you a bit more about the DOJ settlement process so that you would understand how that works if we were to reach settlement. Um, so if we, were, if we reach a proposed settlement agreement, it would be implemented through a judicial consent decree. Um, once the United States, the state of Michigan, and the company reach an agreement um, and all formally approve and sign the decree, it would be lodged with the district court. Um, the lodging would be noticed in the Federal Register, and the notice would provide information about how to provide comments on the proposed consent decree. Um, there would then be a 30-day public comment period, and um, after comments have been considered and addressed to the extent appropriate, then we would move for entry of the consent decree by the court. Once the court enters the decree, then it becomes um, final and it's um, so, we're here today um, to hear your comments and ideas for status and your input on that is going to be helpful um, as we continue settlement discussions. That said, um, I sort of want to manage expectations about the SEPs um, because Casey was saying any SEP has to meet the nexus requirement. It also has to be proposed by Severstall and approved by the government. Um, and so, while we want to manage our expectations, we are very interested in your comments and ideas. I also need to note some topics that we won't be able to discuss today. There are restrictions on the public disclosure of certain information, including regulations on confidential business information, as well as confidential settlement discussions uh, with defendants. So we won't be able to discuss the details of the ongoing settlement discussions. We also won't be able to discuss permitting issues as they fall outside of our purview. Um, and finally, we won't be able to discuss other cases, particularly those that are in active litigation. Um, but again, we appreciate your being here and are really interested in your comments and ideas for that.